Adam and I are very different. Um, you can see that uh, we make a killer team. First of all, I'm very respectful of what he's built. So this whole um, irrational thought and overconfidence, you have to be able to do that to start a company like Adam started. And he's right, it's a very complex uh, product that we have. But what happens, what you find out in your career is the things that made you great at one level when you get to the next level are the things that take you down, the things that are problems for you. I found that in my own career. That before, when I was a director at Novell, I was known for shooting the wounded. And I got a lot done, didn't have a very big team, but made you know, employee of the year twice at my company and uh, a lot of notoriety. But then when you get promoted to a vice president, they're like, okay, you're not supposed to shoot people anymore, right? Your job is to build and to build teams and to build bridges. So I learned that early in my career. And I think that as an entrepreneur, you find that, okay, irrational thought, confidence, start this company. But then as you start to get bigger, if you build your company on that, you start to have problems because you start taking on more risk than you probably should. Um, Adam and I are very different, but uh, we dislike the same people, so that's good. <laughs> um, he's in charge of the herd of unicorns. So whenever he, he's in charge of really big deals and building our partner ecosystem. So whenever he's with customers, they just throw money at him, right? And I'm in charge of the money, so that's a good combination. He's Santa Claus. I'm the Dark Knight. I really wanted to be Black Widow, but I had to be the Dark Knight. And there's really no light between us, right? So when I took the job, I was really respectful of what he built. And I always felt like it was always Adam's company. But I also wanted to be, I wanted to do a good job as president and CEO, because I hadn't been president and CEO before. I had a really big job at Symantec, um, much bigger budgets than I have here, like half a billion compared to less than that. And um, I really wanted this to work because we, uh, we owed it to what Adam had built and plus the employees. So I remember when we were talking about this, I said, are you sure? Because you're, like, you're the guy, right? You're the president and CEO. And he's like, look, I have student loans, you don't. I drive a Jeep, you drive an Audi A8L. You got a really nice pool, and I really want to have a really nice pool. So together, if we can work this out, this would be great. And for me, it meant the chance to build something special, to build something. Uh, I've been doing marketing my whole life, and this is a different way to get to customers. It's a much better way to do a better job of taking care of your customers and improving retention rates. And to be able to do that was very exciting for me. So there's no light between us. We have debates. We have discussions. We don't always agree on everything, but we always find a way to get everyone there. I brought some new people into the organization. And um, one of the folks we brought in was a CFO. Tough, tough public company CFO. Very risk averse. Very different than Adam. Um, Adam dressed up as him on Halloween, so that was hilarious. <laughs> but um, when the CFO started, he said, I think you have to get rid of Adam, because I think he's going to be an antibody for you. And I'm like, you know what? I always err on the side of trust. So we're going to make it so that Adam can do the things that he's awesome at, the whole unicorn thing. right? So we put him on the biggest deals. We put him on building the most important thing we could for the company, which was our partner ecosystem, because they didn't have one to date. And that he wanted to be able to build that, but never had the time to put time into it. <clears throat> so he started that in January. It's gone a lot better than I thought, meaning that we have partners signed up that are some of the biggest names in the industry who now can sell our stuff. They're taking us into deals, which means shorter sales cycles, which means much bigger deals, longer term. So the trajectory of the company will just start, be, just start to take off. Because I can worry about the day-to-day -day stuff at the company. I don't want to travel as much as I used to in the past. I want to be able to build, build teams, build people, build products. And Adam can focus on the things that Adam has done. So I give all the credit to Adam. Um, I'm a big fan of his, big promoter of his. We're raising a round of funding, and when they brought me the term sheets, I said, I can't sign this without Adam being here, because this is his company. And so I came into his office, and I said, it doesn't feel right to sign this without you being right here. He's like, just sign it. It means money. So I'm like, OK, OK, I'll sign it. And Adam takes a beating like no one I have ever seen in my life. So the problem with being an entrepreneur and taking $21 million from venture funds is that they feel like they own you and they get to just beat the crap out of you all the time. 